Hey guys, it's Becca. So in today's video, I'm going to be filming a very, very requested video for you guys. This is going to be how I edit my videos using iMovie. I am truly so excited for this. So today I'm going to tell you guys how I make all the little edits that I make, how I do just the simple editing and also the little bit more advanced. I know that iMovie is a very like basic and simple like editing software. However, I found quite a few tricks to make it look like I don't edit on iMovie and maybe just make it a little bit more professional, hopefully. <laughs> um, so I'm going to tell you guys how to do rough cuts, how to do, how to use green screens for text, how to find music, everything like that. So if you guys are interested, be sure to keep on watching. Okay guys, so starting off with equipment, I just wanted to touch on this really fast before the editing portion of this video actually like starts. So I film on my iPhone 11. I find that it works well for me. I am saving up to get an actual camera. However, I feel like until I get one, like this is just fine. I've had my channel for like six months now and I've never really had a huge problem with filming on my phone. And then I also, like I said, I do use iMovie, which is free if you have a Apple device. And then the last thing I bought is a tripod from Amazon, super small, super compact. I think it was like 15 dollars really inexpensive and I find that it does the trick. I will link it down below for you guys if you guys are interested. And now let's get on into the reason why you guys clicked on this video, the editing portion. So the first thing I do is I import the footage. So because I do film on my phone, I simply airdrop the footage that I have from my phone to my computer and then I create a new project, name it as whatever the video title is and then I drag and drop all of the clips into my iMovie timeline. So also sometimes the clips are like out of order so I have to like arrange them in the right order, but yeah, that's what I have to do first. Okay guys, so after you've imported your footage, the first thing that you wanna do is do the rough cut, which is the most important part of your video, but also like, let's be honest, the most boring part of your video. And just cutting out any parts of the video that you don't wanna keep. I cut out like really long breaths or parts where I'm thinking. If I'm watching a video and it feels too long or it just feels like really boring, sometimes I'll cut out parts that I think are less exciting and just keep the parts that I think are like crucial to the video which I think make the video a lot more entertaining so when you come to a part that you want to cut out you just want to split the clip right at the beginning using command B that's like a keyboard shortcut and then go to the end of the part that you want to cut out hit command B again to split the clip again and then just click delete and then the clip that you don't want will be deleted from your video then I go through all of my footage which seriously sometimes this can take like an hour and a half it takes so long to like go through all of my footage but I just go through and I cut out every single thing that I don't want or I don't think is necessary in my video. Also, another helpful thing is you can look at the sound waves on your video so you can see that if like there's no sound waves at a certain point in your video, you're probably not talking. So you can probably just automatically cut that part of the video out. And something that helps the rough edit go by a lot faster is keyboard shortcuts. So I'm just going to tell you guys some of them right now, which I have found that really helped me out. So. I already told you guys about this one, but Command B cuts and splits the clip. Command Z can be used to undo what you just did, which is very, very helpful because I feel like I mess up a lot. Shift Command Z is redo, Command C is copy, and then Command V is paste. Now I'm going to show you guys how I make my videos more engaging by using the Crop to Fill and Ken Burns tool. So the first thing I like to do is just the most basic crop. So first you want to hit the crop tool in the top of your screen and then you want to push crop to fill. And then basically it's just going to give you guys this cropping option. So basically you can crop it in a little bit. I don't normally go too crazy with this. I like it a little bit more subtle, but you guys can do obviously whatever you want to do. Sometimes I do them if I want to be a little bit more funny or dramatic, but normally I just go for a very like natural crop. And then the second thing I like to do is this right here where I can zoom in on my face. So to do that, I hit the same crop tool that I told you guys about before, and instead you just hit Ken Burns, and then basically you can just choose where you want the clip to start and where you want it to end, allowing you to zoom in on the clip. And then one thing I like to do is make it so that you reverse the start and end clip. So basically you can make it zoom out of your face, which I think just gives this like really aesthetic look. So I don't do this as much, but I've done this before where I changed the pitch of my voice to go higher or lower just to give it kind of like a funny or like quirky effect. And I didn't know how to do this for the longest time. So I'm going to tell you guys how to do this right now. So go ahead and select the clip that you want to change the audio effect on and then click the icon in the corner corner that it just has the three little circles and then click on audio effect and and the preset for it is automatically just going to be set to none but when you click on that it will give you a whole bunch of options of what you want to select and I normally click on either pitch down one or pitch up one. Adding borders is just a super aesthetic way to add a fun touch to your videos and I feel like it also makes it a little bit more aesthetic. So open a new project and go ahead and put the first layer in the in your timeline and then just want to drag that second clip the clip that you want over the first clip just literally like drag it over in the timeline 
I'll show you guys in the screen recording. Like so, and then just push the little like two boxes and then click on the part where it automatically says cutaway and you wanna choose picture in picture. After that, you can just go ahead and select that one video clip on top of the other video clip and you can just make it the size that you want it. If you have multiple different clips that you wanna add borders to, just go ahead and simply copy the first clip that has a border and then select the clip that you want to have a matching border. Go up to the top left-hand corner of the screen that says edit. Then you wanna put paste adjustments and then under that put video overlay settings. And it's basically just gonna put all of the overlay settings from the first border to the second one so that they all look cohesive and the same. Now I'm gonna show you guys how to download and use green screens. So just go to YouTube and search up like aesthetic green screens. A lot of the times I use this like VHS green screen. Once you have your green screen video picked out, be sure to copy the link of that video. Then you want to go to a website YTMP3 and select MP4 and paste your link and make sure that you are selecting MP4 so that it downloads as a video file. And then you can just go ahead and download your video. Once your video is downloaded, go back into iMovie and drag it into your timeline. Then click on the two little boxes at the top of the screen again and click where it says cutaway and select green slash blue screen. And there you go, that is how you use a green screen. And now moving on to the part you guys have probably been waiting for, and this is how I get aesthetic fonts slash text on iMovie. So as many of you guys probably know, iMovie has terrible fonts, so I'm gonna show you guys how to get aesthetic ones and ones that actually will look good in your videos. It does take quite a bit of effort, but I find that it's personally worth it. So to make my fonts, I actually use my phone. So I downloaded the app Fonto. I seriously love this app. It is so helpful. So once you have your green screen, you can go ahead and click text. You can make, you can customize a whole bunch of text or you can just make it like plain white, whatever you honestly choose. It just depends on like what aesthetic and vibe you're going for. Once you have your text typed in, you can move it around, adjust the size, really just customize it to whatever you want for your videos. Then you want to just go ahead and airdrop it to your Mac or your MacBook and drag it into your timeline. Click the two little boxes at the top of the screen again and click green screen. And there you go. You have your aesthetic text and not the gross ones that iMovie automatically provides. Okay, so now I'm going to show you guys how to make transitions and how to add sound effects. So basically up at the corner, there's this little part section that says transitions. So you just want to click on that, then select the transition that you want to use and drag it into the timeline in, in between the two clips that you want to transition between. And usually I like to change the duration to about 0.2 seconds so that it's really fast and not super like slow and draggy, but it just like helps the clips connect to each other and flow really nicely. So for transitions, I usually like to use the sound golf hit, which sounds exactly like this. Yeah, pretty great. <laughs> And I also like to use the sound effect bottle cork. I think that's what it's called. I'll double check that when I'm editing. But um, like when I have things pop up on the screen like this, I like to use that sound effect. And I just like to drag that audio clip to the spot where the thing is popping up on the screen and make sure that they line up so that it doesn't like look weird where the text pops up at one time, but then the sound effect comes up at another. I've done that before and it was really not great. I'm gonna show you guys how to make PNG images and add them to your videos. So basically you just wanna find a photo on Google or wherever you're finding it and you can download it to your computer. Then you can go to a website called remove.bg, like remove background. This will basically just make your image a PNG for free, which is really, really helpful. And then you can download it. Once your image is downloaded, you can just go back into iMovie and drag it wherever you wanna put it and then click on the two little boxes at the top of the screen where it says cutaway. You want it to say picture in picture and then hit the crop tool and press fit. Back to picture in picture and, and just drag the picture to the size that you guys want it. And then I also like to drag in the sound effect bottle cork so it just looks like it's popping up on the screen. And there you go, that is how to make and add PNG images to your videos. So now on to voiceovers. I just use the microphone in my AirPods, although honestly any earbuds would definitely work as well. The sound quality is actually pretty good and I feel like everyone just has a pair of like earbuds or headphones lying around. So recording a voiceover on iMovie is actually really simple. So you just want to go ahead and and click this little mic button. Done is kind of, and this little countdown is going to come up and you just want to click this little record button in the center and then you can just go ahead and record your voiceover like normal. Now I'm going to show you guys how I find and add music to my videos. So I love this website. It is called hellothematic.com. It's a really easy way to find copyright free music that is completely free. So all you need to do is find a song that you like, 
download it and then can and drag it into your timeline sometimes i find that the sound is really loud so you want to turn that down and make sure that it's not like overpowering what your words are having to say because a lot of the time the music is way too loud and in order for your videos to not be copyrighted you just want to go back to their website and they basically just want you to give credit to the artist so they have a little thing where you can copy and paste it and put the link to the music in your description so basically that is how you do not get copyrighted using thematic music i'm truly obsessed with it it is completely free it, it has really like good popular and trendy songs as well thank you guys so much for watching this video i hope that this was helpful for you guys or you just found it entertaining i don't know me trying to explain how to edit on imovie when my computer's downstairs was very very interesting but i hope you guys enjoyed this video i love you guys so so much thank you so much for 300 subscribers i think we hit it last week so i love you guys so so much and i will see you next week with another video Bye.